Well, we're out here today uh, cleaning the carburetors on my Arctic Cat ZRT800. That's a 1986, or 96 rather. And look what I found inside of this thing. Look at that garbage. Jeez. Right inside the float. I wasn't going to get no gas. All gummed up and nasty, man. I was told by the Arctic Cat guy that uh, that's water gets in there and does all that. So, <clears throat> yep, got to clean her up real good, get them all cleaned up. Changing the jets. It's got uh, 420s in it, if you can see there, 420s, the main jets. <clears throat> it's got 35 pilot jets in it. I'm going to be changing that out to uh, 40 for the pilots. And uh, I'm going to be going 430s for the main. I'm going to be opening it up a little bit. Originally they had uh, bored the carbs out. Uh, somebody was wanting to race this thing and uh, apparently they didn't know what they were doing. That's why they burnt a cylinder. So... We're going to be up in the mains, so that way we don't burn it up. And uh, up the pilot a little bit, just so that way it doesn't lag on takeoff. So this thing ought to rip. Go about a turn and a half to two turns because of the fact that the jets have been opened up a little bit. We get it running and ripping. So... Uh, here, hopefully here in the next few days and four or five days I'll have the jets get this here uh, 800 Arctic Cat ZRT 1996 model ripping get her ripping no doubt anyways hope you enjoy the little bit of a, a film I got here going oh yeah 100 mile an hour. Heh. Try. He'll go a lot faster than that. I'll bury that. 1,617 miles. This sled has virtually no miles on it. Pristine condition, too. Look at that. I'm not going to find a 96 ZRT 800. It looks like that. I'll tell you that right now. But, uh, yeah, we got a 600 over there, too. 96 600 ZRT. It's fast. It rips. Starts up on the first pull. And I got my old uh, uh, 98 uh, ZL500 that I used to have. I traded it off to my brother so his kids would have something to ride. I got me a, a 550 Panther now, which is pretty much identical to this sled. It looks almost the same, but it's a two-person sled. It has the the bar on the back and the heated hand grips for the passenger and all that good stuff and it'll be fun this winter so anyways let's just say uh hope to see some of you out there on the roads the snow starts flying it's going to be fun anyways like and subscribe and uh, we appreciate you thank you